Imagine being trapped in a maze with walls so high you can't see the way out. You wander lost and frustrated until you realize something incredible, that the map to escape was in your pocket all along. Today, I want to share with you the map to your own potential and how to trust yourself to navigate through life's most challenging mazes. Let's begin with a thought experiment. Picture this. You are in a room with two mirrors. Each mirror shows a different version of your future self. The first mirror shows a version of you who followed all the expectations of others, whether that be your friends, your family, your teachers, society. This version is successful by conventional standards, a stable job, an adequate house, an acceptable lifestyle. But as you look closer into their eyes, you notice a certain dullness. You notice a lack of passion and excitement. This version of you followed the known path and took the road that was commonly traveled. The second mirror shows a different version of you. This one made bold choices, took risks, sometimes stumbled along the way. They often followed their inner voice and took the road less traveled. But even when their path isn't certain, their eyes seem to sparkle with joy, with excitement, with the sense of true fulfillment. Now, I want you to think about which mirror you're more drawn to. Do you choose conformity or do you choose your heart? I chose my heart as I got to do what I love, follow my dreams. But there's a catch. The path to becoming the fulfilled version in the second mirror is unclear. It requires you to believe in yourself and to make some decisions that might not always be understood by others. That itself is the start to the path of a key secret, self-trust. Let's go on a little journey to explore the concept of self-trust, shall we? In definition, self-trust is the great faith in oneself or belief in one's abilities. Why is it so important, you may ask? It is the foundation of our authenticity and fulfillment. It reveals our character as it allows us to make decisions aligned with our values and to live a life that actually feels genuine and rewarding. When we trust ourselves, we have the power to succeed. It sounds easy in theory, right? But in reality, in difficult situations, we often doubt ourselves. I know that all of us have been there, staying up all night thinking, can we actually do this? Is our choice really the right choice? This self-doubt plagues us. The fear of failure does so as well, as it makes us hesitant to leave our comfort zones. But you do know that everybody fails, right? The majority of entrepreneurs fail before starting a successful business. Take a look at Henry Ford. His last name sounds familiar to you, right? Well, before starting his car company, his first vehicle actually failed, and that led him to lose all his financial backing before actually starting the brand. Or Bill Gates, whose first business before Microsoft, which was called Trap O Data, also failed as the technology just didn't work. Or James Dyson, who had to make 5,127 vacuum prototypes before successfully putting Dyson into the market. These examples show us that failure is a natural part of our journey, and it is our flaws that make us human. The key is to accept it and move forward. You can do it if you trust yourself to navigate through these obstacles. Now, let me take you back to a moment in my life where I learned the truth about self-trust. Many years ago, I joined my first international school, a school where English was the primary language. This was me as a kid. I look so shy, right? Well, in my past years, I've only been in traditional Thai schools. Therefore, I've never had the opportunity to learn different languages. I didn't know a single word of English, not a word at all. I didn't even know how to ask the teachers to go to the bathroom. <sighs> Every day, I watched as the kids around me chatted and laughed, swapping stories and playing games and I felt isolated. 
as if I was standing alone in a crowded room. This continued for months and years, to the point where I started to panic. You know, as a kid with future hopes and dreams and goals I wanted to achieve, I didn't want to continue my future like this. I wanted to see a change. I wanted to improve myself and to become a better version of myself. Therefore, after realizing that I couldn't just bottle up my emotions forever, I took the first step to share my struggles with my mother. It was at this moment where she shared a quote by American teacher Christian D. Larson that I would never forget. Believe in yourself and all that you are. Know that there is something inside of you that's greater than any obstacle out there. This quote sparked something in me. It led me to realize that I had an inner strength that wasn't defined by anybody else. It was after this where I did something I've never done before. I took my first risk to speak without the fear of judgment. Yes, other students laughed at my bad grammar and my poor accents, but I refused to let that stop me. I made a promise to myself to never give up and to believe in myself that I would eventually learn. So as years passed, I kept on improving myself. I started off little by little with small groups of vocabulary, then sentences, then continued on to paragraphs. It was after this which led me here, the proudest moment of my life, to be on this stage and to share my story using a language that I was once afraid of. This led me to realize that self-trust is mandatory. It taught me one of the most valuable lessons of my life, which was to become strong and to redefine my future through what I believe I'm able to achieve. Now, that was my personal journey in self-trust, in learning something new. Moving on to the question probably dwelling in everybody's minds, how exactly can we break down the concept of self-trust and apply it to our lives? Start by listening to your inner voice. Listen to your inner feelings as they guide you towards your passion and tell you what to do. Surround yourself with people who encourage you. Understand that failure is just part of the growth process and each failure teaches you something valuable. I want you to remember that, although the path to self-trust may be less traveled and filled with uncertainty, it is also the path that leads you to true fulfillment and joy. So as you leave here today, I want you to recall standing between the two mirrors in your mind. The one molded by external pressures and the one who trusts their inner voice and goes ahead with their dreams. Go ahead and ask yourself, which version of me will I choose to be? Thank you.